Let us be serious and get focused. Because what we are doing is for the future. This is the late Justice Rubo Pia Weri addressing his colleagues, the old boys of Lao College, one of the schools he was very much passionate about. We should recollect where we have gone wrong, where we have done badly, and then we correct it. I'm sure we can still go back to where we were in the 70s. The Supreme Court Justice and Chief Inspector of Courts Rubo Pia Weri was announced dead yesterday by the Chief Justice Alfonso Windolo. According to his elder brother, also the clan head, Levi Okodi, the deceased was admitted a few weeks ago with a stroke. He was transferred from Nakaser to Mulago and was reportedly improving until yesterday when he was pronounced dead. Health-wise, he has never suffered any ailment at all. He was a very bright uh, boy at school and he pursued his studies very well. He has been helping especially me to look after the family, to make sure our family develops. But now that burden has been left on me and especially me alone. When I, when I went to the hospital, he could not talk. Okodi said his brother was an icon in the public arena. He was a friend to all. He loved everybody. He was never chief magistrate or what, but he went straight from grade one to, to become high court judge. His main interest, as I saw, it was mainly in forestry. He has planted trees almost everywhere in, in Lango and beyond. I have always addressed the community of Dopolo jointly with the Justice Ruby Opia Wera. He was dearly loved. We have lost an icon. We have lost a low-profile gentleman who was so hard-working. Former Premier of Lao Cultural Foundation, Tony Toa, regrets the tragedy, saying the disease was lying to mediate the two warring cultural factions. We look forward also for the younger generation to aspire to get there. And that would mean Hard work, no corruption, being faithful to your service and professional, fair in your judgment and how you look at the judiciary. Uh, I am very happy. I am. Justice Rubo Pia Weri died at 69 years after a short illness. He joined the judiciary as a grade 1 magistrate in 1983 and rode through the ranks to a justice of the Supreme Court and a chief inspector of courts, a position he held until his demise. UBC News. <laughs> Thank you.